Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about building a silent PC from scratch. As a songwriter, this is my home recording studio where I create demos. An issue that I have is the loudness of my personal computer. And whenever I'm doing a vocal take, that sound is being picked up by the microphone. And that is not any bloody good. In this particular video, we're going to be identifying the components for this build. And in the video description down below, it will break down every single product, the model numbers, etc. So the first component we have to deal with is what's the form factor? What kind of case are we going to house all of these guts of the PC? In my studio, I've got a, a main desk that's a dual motor sit stand desk. So those are the kinds that go up and down. I love it because when I'm singing, I want to stand. When I'm playing guitar or bass, I want to be very low, close to the ground. So the desk comes down with me. Now the issue I had in the previous studio is that equipment could be off the desk, even though it was electrical and connected to the desk. And as I'd go up or down, you know, my studio monitors would sway and sometimes they'd smash into the walls and destroy the drywall. My wife didn't like that. So what we uh, wanted to do is get a rack mount case. So we went with a 4U, which I think is approximately six or seven inches tall. It was one of the very first things we chose and purchased, had it shipped. So once we knew the size, then we could start planning uh, the size of all the other components we wanted to add. Now inside the case, we went with the Asus motherboard, the Z930A. We want stable, and this is our puppy. Now, what makes a computer a computer? The CPU, Central Processing Unit. This is the Intel i9 processor. What we're mostly concerned with is an IPC, or instructions per second. While the number of cores identified in the processor is important, it's less important. When we're processing music, it's all very linear. We're dealing with tasks that need to be done one after the other. As opposed to cores, some software uses a lot of cores and cores are, are used so that you can do multiple tasks at the same time. It was rated within the top five of all IPCs. This was on sale, so you know I gotta love a sale. Because these things get so hot, we're gonna need some way to cool it down. And the way we do that, all the heat that comes out, it will have some kind of CPU cooler. We chose to use a CPU fan. Okay, so Arctic, be quiet, with an exclamation mark, and Noctua. Those are the three big companies as far as I'm concerned. We went with that Austrian company, Noctua. They're known for having brown fans. Do I love a brown fan in my case? No, not really. But you know it's an Noctua when you see one. Their big fan for CPUs is the NHD15. Unfortunately, when we got the case, laid in the motherboard, checked out the height that we had to work with, the D15 wouldn't fit. So when we ordered our cooler, what we got was the D15S Slim. So it's about five, cent uh, five millimeters smaller. So that's what we're gonna use on the build. We chose the Corsair PSU. The power supply is using 80 plus gold certification. So it's efficient, it's the RM series, and it's uh, got a load of 750 watts. One thing to note is that a lot of these models nowadays don't have the cords connected directly to the unit. And that's because a lot of these cords never get used. Therefore, why fill up the case with these cords that are just sitting there? The next has to do with random access memory. The RAM that we've chosen is also by Corsair. It's a Vengeance LPX. 
on your motherboard, it might have four slots, it might have eight slots. And so we have four slots with this Asus board and we've got 32, so that's two sticks of 16 gigabytes. And that means that there's two slots left. So we can go up to 64 gigabyte. You also have to keep in mind that the size of the memory. Some of these memories have heat sinks built into the top of them, which are fantastic for dissipating heat. The issue is, will it fit on top of the CPU fan? A lot of these uh, motherboards are built where the slots are right next to the CPU. And therefore, once you mount the CPU fan, this RAM might be in the way. Ah, thanks buddy. This is the graphics card we chose. It's by MSI. Most importantly, it has zero fans. Now, most graphics cards have two fans. Some have one and some have three. Out of all the cards that have no fans, this one has the most power. Okay, so it has two gigabytes. Uh, decent processing, not fantastic, but sufficient for what we need. And it will not heat up the system. This is the Samsung solid state drive that we're going to install directly onto the motherboard rather than in a drive bay. Now, traditionally, we would have used a hard disk drive, which were those cylinders that would rotate very quickly. They generated heat and they were loud. We got rid of all of those and this is what we're going to use. Okay, so the next step is going to be the actual installation. If you're interested in this topic, feel free to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when that video is available. Thank you so much for watching, and talk to you soon.